that was one tough act to follow, let me tell you. Um, yeah, as co film commissioner, uh, I'm going to do this in English. I speak Swedish actually, but this is English. Um, as, film, <laughs> as film commissioner, uh, obviously what we do is we sit and take projects and decide what projects we need to focus on and provide financial support. So what we're doing is entering into a conversation with society at some level uh, in deciding what kind of images we produce. And I'm just going to share with you just a little bit in one such conversation that we were having at this moment in the Swedish film industry and in the, uh, uh, at the uh, Swedish Film Institute. Now, I'm going to be relying heavily on these um, and I ask you to excuse me in advance. When you sit in a movie theater, the lights are going down. You're sitting there in a comfortable chair with your popcorn and your soda. What you're doing is you're entering into a contract. This contract is between you and the filmmaker. And basically, the contract, in this contract, you agree that you're not sitting in a movie theater anymore. You agree that the actors on screen are not really actors, and they don't really know what's going to happen to them in the story, and they haven't been provided with the dialogue in advance. In this contract, the gun is not just a prop. On the other hand, the filmmaker makes a promise. The promise is that she will take you somewhere to a different experience, to a world or a place or a circumstance where you've never been, maybe. She will entertain you, and she will show you something, right? Make you think, feel, cry, laugh, whatever. Now, if this works, you'll experience the story as if it happened to you. You're going to be in the story. And that's the whole thing about storytelling. Filmmakers call this the willing suspension of disbelief. We stop disbelieving what, what's going on. The willing suspension of disbelief is fundamental to film because it enables us to experience and the, the actual plot instead of just realizing where we are all the time. Think about the imaginative powers it takes w to watch a film. It's an immense, immensely imaginative process. We're really expanding our imaginations to the utmost when we imagine, you know, uh, t being taken out to a galaxy far, far away or being shown a world that is, consists of aliens with three heads. Wherever we go, though, even if we go through a wormhole into a parallel universe, we inevitably end up in a story that's about a white, heterosexual male. And if there's a black character in this story, that's the sidekick. And if, it's, if there's a female character in this story, that's the sexy love interest. That's where suspension of disbelief apparently ends we are not able to imagine, apparently, that a story can go on beyond that. Everything else we can imagine, just not that. And this becomes a default. This is where we default when we make stories, in Sweden in particular today. Think about it. Even in animation, now this is funny, okay, even in animation, even when the character is an inanimate object, a teapot, the voices that you hear inevitably belong as the lead to the white heterosexual male, the black sidekick, and the female is the romantic lead. So, how come we can suspend our disbelief far enough to imagine anything anything but a black lesbian, you know, playing in a romantic comedy, or a transsexual as cops, you know? 
Well, it's the idea of a paradigm, the paradigm of our values. This goes deep with us. Our values and our prejudice are needed to make sense of the world, right? They're hard to adjust, super hard. And whenever they're put in question, whenever we challenge those assumptions, we react, usually with anger, confusion, and fear. One of the conversations that we have today at the Swedish Film Institute is how do we relate to that? What do we do when we are in such a position producing images? How do we discuss, raise awareness of these issues? There are two initiatives, and many of you have heard of these initiatives, I'm sure, that we're discussing today. The first one is the A rating. Now, the A rating is is an informal test. It's informal. It's not a real test. We don't use it to measure anything real. We just use it to raise awareness. The A rating says it's based on the now famous Bechtel test, Alison Bechtel. And it goes something like this. In the movie, do you have two female characters with names? Do they speak to each other? about something other than a man, okay? That's kind of, I see some of you smiling about it because it is funny. What it represents is the basic most idea of a character not being in the story for the sake of someone else, for their own sake, with their own agency, with their own dramatic issue. Basic, but, You'll be hard-pressed today to find a story in Sweden, in a Swedish film, that actually lives up to that simple, basic requirement. The second idea that we're working on is a paraphrase, and it was actually the activist Inti Chavez Perez who formulated this as a paraphrase to Bechtel. And that one goes, are there two ethnic characters, non-white, Do they have names? And do they speak to each other about something other than a crime? Okay? Yeah, I'm glad you laughed because it is very basic. And I mean, it is it is meant to kind of put a smile on our face a little bit. But we need to remember that this is the basic fundamental of a character in a story with its own dramatic needs and wants. And we can't even reach that requirement. So This is a discussion that we're holding now and that we're having in, at the Swedish Film Institute. <clears throat> We have a lot to do, and it's not a popular conversation. People need to hold on to their prejudice. They want to hold on to it. But it's a fundamental question when you produce images to ask yourselves, what stereotypes am I reproducing and why? And the question is, sometimes we reproduce stereotypes to decide who gets to decide. So that's a powerful societal function and role that these stereotypes have. So the next time, when you sit down and watch a film, ask yourself, how far am I willing to suspend my disbelief? Thank you. <laughs>